this for the early guys. For those of you who are here as early birds, there's a surprise coming your way. There's somebody I know you will love. Somebody I know you love. <laughs> One of the prettiest ladies I ever no. had. One of my favorite actresses. You call her Pearl, but she's a Kia. Hi, Kia. <laughs> Hello. You boy. still look lovely. Uh, pardon? You still look lovely. I, I, have, I have to look good. And uh, I'll be just one of the main life, dear. If I don't spec up small, then. <laughs> <laughs> you go look, you go look some way. <laughs> but how have you been? How have you been, Kia? I've been okay. I've actually mm -hmm. been okay. How okay is okay? How okay have you been? What have I've been, been hanging. What? I've been hanging in there. Hanging in there. I hope life has been fun. I mean, if I look at how dashing you are and how beautiful you're looking, it's not oh, bad. I have to polish up. I have to polish up because I've been very dry since the um the COVID. So I decided to polish myself small for, Are you sure? for the fact. Even, <laughs> even when we see you from bathroom cry, it's as if you don't make up. <laughs> so I think there was one of these posts I saw and someone was talking about how um he or she even loved you more when she saw you in a video, a music video as a vixen. Right. What's life like? Right. You're like a screen goddess. You've been on screen like several decades before it came on. And even mm -hmm. afterwards, you've been, you've been doing some screen appearances. Mm. Yes, mm. I have. But surprisingly mm. enough, I, I, I don't have that face. I don't have that face that sticks. So sometimes, yes, they do make me out when I go out. Like, they see me. But it's not... You know when someone like makes a huge impact on yeah. on screen or on stage and then everybody's talking about you that particular yeah. moment and then right yeah. after you're gone after it's a okay few days it. it's over they don't okay. follow up on calling for other roles and stuff like that okay that one we have to learn from harold i think he has a way of going about it so mm. we'll, we'll, we'll he's like the superstar i tell you i say he's like the superstar for mexico I know, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't know, but after all of this, you expect that um they wouldn't call you for auditions, but sometimes mm -hmm. they do. <laughs> so a friend was even advising me that I should just do like, you know, those uh short short snippets, you know, yeah. small vlogs here and then just put it up on the page and see. Maybe that well, will So maybe I'll just tell people that uh, Ikea I know I knew her from Ligon. If you talk of stage acting, she's like there, like there, you know. So I think in the first uh, scene of XOXO, and it's part of the things I wrote about, when you walked in and um, Buju was supposed to watch you and Marlene and say, drop dead gorgeous. And we took like, <laughs> two hours, and the guy couldn't just say, drop dead gorgeous. Just three words. God, joy, 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 joy. It was a mess. Now, it was I'll a say that... Mess. I, I just couldn't believe that. I had to, and we were in heels. We were in heels and we had to be going back and forth. Really? And I was like, ah. <laughs> but it was funny. It was funny. So I didn't yeah. uh, like. I didn't feel the pain. Okay. Even though like it was hurting, my yeah, I could I could feel that my my foot was hurting. But then it was funny. So we're all laughing. It mm. was after I finished and I had to like crawl my way to a seat yeah. and just sit up. <laughs> mm. well, I was actually talking about that scene because that's when. Okay, I'm obviously I knew you from from Legon. And then I had seen right. you, obviously, we had had a chat, you know, before it started. But uh, back on Legon campus, Ikea was huge. I mean, she was a huge stage star, you know. Oh, yes. So one yes. moment, there's somebody I used <laughs> to pay money to watch on stage in uh, at Legon. And I was supposed to be in the same scene with her. So it's like, Charlie, right. behave, 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 you know. Pressure. <laughs> yeah, pressure. <laughs> but, but I think uh, overall, it was very exciting acting with all of you. Um, I'm not sure at any point, anybody really felt like Charlie. You have to overdo things. So you just have to be yourself, you know, just interpret but your role, natural. just be you. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah. And what's that one, Every one, other... one what's that one scene or moment next week so that you will never forget? That always sticks with you throughout. It's always, <laughs> you see, I don't have like a favorite favorite because like everything was fun for me. Mm. But the scene that everybody mocks me about is the very first episode where josh dumps me and i go like really really like <laughs> you know and everybody comes like yes he's dumped you get off and i'm like you're telling me even in, <laughs> you're telling me this even in person i mean it's yeah. like yes that's our favorite scene 
the look oh. the, they said the whole yeah. look on my face <laughs> how i reacted to him dumping me was yeah. epic so yeah they really love that scene because of that i yeah i think i'll but but <laughs> The scene that I'll never ever forget, or the episode that will make me forever remember, is the day um, I got on set after my daddy's uh, um, burial. Yeah, yeah, I think I, during or when my daddy died, or after his burial, I came on set, and it's like everybody saw me, and they were like, "Oh," and everybody was sad, and it's like everybody was hugging me. Uh, you know, we are like a family, so yeah. when they did that, it really. And they actually thought I wouldn't be able to act. Yeah. But that was the day like Eddie was like, "Hey, Charlie, you're on fire!" And then yeah, you know how yeah, it goes like, it like. <laughs> boy, 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 boy thing, and then he hit you, yeah. and I go like, "Charlie, you did well, you did well." And then like, yeah, it was it was it was a very good experience. Mm. So and the watchy. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. I don't know where they were finding the that watchy from. Was, I don't know where they were getting the watchy. I don't know where they were getting the watchy from, but it was just like there. I tell you, I tell you, that was in the morning. That watchy. Some, some. We we actually fought over it to to, to take some home. I remember, I remember. <laughs> and usually, sometimes I've got like an afternoon scene, so I don't come in the morning. Then Buju will take a picture. Right. I'm like, I need to chop the watchy. <laughs> so even though your call time is two p.m., you're going to be there at eight so that you can enjoy the the watchy as well. I'm seeing Nia though over here uh i'll just try and read a few comments because your fan base out there is huge um <laughs> on this, on this uh, thread somebody here says that um as long as i do fast and come on tv well we're going to come back soon ikia is just priceless and full of character for Moldova chance uh somebody says that you are clemento suarez's wife ikia you used to act with clemento you were at the school of performing arts with clemento yeah yes okay we are still together okay. um you know Clemento has a big heart, so he has like a lot of girls under him, a lot mm. of girls and a lot of guys under him. Mm. So sometimes he needs to give um, equal opportunity to others. So yeah. you won't see me on stage with them all the time. It's okay. because they have to allow other people to also okay. take part in some of the moves. Mm. That's why. But yes, we are together um, on the um, on Nyansa Paul Productions. Okay. So I think. Yeah, I used to enjoy Nyansa Paul back then a lot. Well, this one here says that um, that's if you are still crush on Josh for real, coming from real internet. Oh! Did you ever have a crush on Josh? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, to tell you the truth, it's always been for this, for this, for the screen. Mm. Trust me. I actually someone met me and was asking if I'll date him or I'll actually marry Josh, and I was, <laughs> and I was laughing my head off because I was like, uh, uh, no, <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not saying he's not a fine boy. He's ah, Josh is fine, but I'm he saying is, yeah. that. Yes. See, Harold, forgive is me. He fine? <laughs> Did you say Harold is fine? Look like a player. It looks like I'm a scared one. to date. I'll, I'll be scared to date Harold any day, any time mm. because I feel he's a player. Baby, there, I said I'm it. Here for you. Baby, I'm here for you. Should I get some money? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, once you have me, there's no problem. Should I get on one knee already? This thing can be like a ring, you know, like I can just create a hole and then I'll propose live on uh, Instagram. <laughs> or I should do it later. Okay, Maybe so after I, the premiere. That's, that me, oh, then do it later. I beg you. I beg after you. After the premiere. <laughs> I hear. Because you know the kind of colors. After, I know the kind of after, colors you like, so. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I like about you? What? Your lips. Now you're going to make me shy. <laughs> Are you going to make me shy? Guys, you should, see, you should see Roy on set. And when he smiles or when he's talking to you, that guy licks his lip like every single minute. So it's like his lips are like a baby's. He's always <laughs> polished and very soft. And, you know, he's got that flair. If you're not careful, hmm, if you're not if you're careful him, hmm. Tell me if you're not careful. Pardon? If you're not careful. They might, they, might, <laughs> they, they might start drawing close. And by the time they realize they are kissing you, oh, <laughs> he has very kissable lips. <laughs> No, I beg you. <laughs> but uh, God, Demi God, hi. <laughs> that's just ever commenting there. I, I need to go up and. Uh, I know, right? But if you're out there, you want to hear from uh, Ekri, I've got her here now. There are several questions I know some of you want to ask. Uh, that partnership between you and Marlene, did you know Marlene before XOXO? No. No, I didn't. It was a very tight partnership. 
we just met on set for uh mm-hmm. season one episode one one yeah. and we just we just clicked wow. we were like six sisters i don't know if it was because of the fan tea oh, she spoke fan tea a lot i spoke okay yeah she was always fancy with me so mm. and when we get on set i read my lines i you know she reads her lines we go like okay let's run through and mm. marlene and i would just read one like through once because of mm-hmm. the you know the, the rapport we already mm-hmm. have and then it's it just i don't know it just <laughs> we flow <laughs> <laughs> well uh this one says that um hey okay, have you tasted royce lips no i mean she's just talking about what she sees Please, but... i have not tasted it <laughs> <laughs> you know the thing is this no let me just clarify we never kissed. neither did we kiss in any episode i didn't never. have that no. Good like that. So, I'm just, just saying that he has. <laughs> let me clarify this way. So, for um, extra, so what actually happened was, I think eventually we all became. Um, I want to try and get a better light in there. You know? So eventually we all became very close, more like brothers and sisters. So, you know, people see you outside and say, "Well, actually, this one, what's up?" You know, it's. I think at some point here yeah, we have become too close, and these are people you are seeing like every single week acting. I mean, really. Give us some credit. So nothing really happened, but yeah. uh, I'm sure just oh, gonna... oh, right, right. Someone yeah. just, someone just, you know, said a line in my, in my, uh, in one of the scripts. It okay. says, "We'll split Shada Ghana into two. You take the Shada, I take the Ghana." You remember that scene? I was very rude to Josh, and I loved it. <laughs> so you know, one thing I always get surprised by <laughs> viewers who get to remember yeah, some of the lines. Right. You know, because and meanwhile, I don't remember. Charlie, Charlie. People will see you and they say something. I'm like, wow. Because there were so many lines we had to pack in our heads to deliver naturally. And so, yeah, there were those punch lines you'd always remember. But usually, you know. Right. So somebody reminds you, you don't actually uh, remember it yourself. Now, before you leave, um, Parker says you are oh. one of his best actresses. I've actually also mentioned publicly that you are one of my best. There are several fans out there who would always want to have a piece of you, whichever way or whatever that means. But um, on next week, so who is that one person? Or okay, maybe who is that one person that after 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 the the series, <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. I know that after the series, you always felt like wow, we need to be back <laughs> for nothing at all because of this person. Who did you miss most? No, I I I won't. No, but I never had a favorite. You know, see, just look at XOXO and see okay. XOXO without any character there. You realize that we are not XOXO without any other character. No, 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 no we XOXO without. We are equally important. Even without Buju, I can't. Ask me, I can't. Pin, I can't pinpoint anyone and say that oh, this person was my favorite. I I love the whole concept of the fact that we were all together. And it made okay. it made it really made a great impact. So yeah. I don't really have a favorite. Trust. Please don't say I should marry Buju. Uh, uh, Daniel and this is my who? Kelvin and I. But maybe I'll just talk to Even in real life, even in real life, we can't deal. Honestly, Buju and Ikina do not see eye to eye. That one I can say this. <laughs> they are they are like uh, Tom and Jerry. Put them on, in any room. And before you know, they are all over the house for the place, you know. So, if you actually want to have like uh, the shortest marriage ever, maybe you should play Buju and uh, Ikea. Now, this one says that. Oh, um, but, but we actually be nice together. But by the hey, time you realize, we are arguing about something else. Like we are very nice them, to each other. Like, us chatting one on one. one. We are very. But the minute you, you realize. <laughs> okay, okay, you have to go. I'm sure other other characters have to come. Yes, on yes. Board. Uh, number of them are calling. But uh, before you leave, maybe I'll just uh, right. take your final words. Uh, now, obviously, XOXO is coming back. I don't know how much of a uh, pressure yeah. it was because you've been on screen and been on uh, stage. Hey. I don't know how much difficulty you had convincing Roy. people. Yes. Roy, go and see my... my. Let me... If, if you like, I'll just give you my password to every social media handle I have. I've always I have message that. requests that I... No. I'm afraid to open. No, I mean that. Uh, that one. Text, Please send it to me afterwards. Can I come up? Pardon? And they send me the password to all your handles afterwards. <laughs> I want to see some things in there. Boy, <laughs> but I have message requests where when is XOXO coming back? Why did you stop? 
you, mm. when, you know, what is going on? Why won't you answer me? You know, I can't find season four. Where is season three? You, please, can you can you share me season four? This, that. Like, the messages were just, ah. So I was like, oh, goodness me, Lord God, what am I going to do? <laughs> but um, I would say that, that you guys have been amazing. The fact mm. that you put pressure on Eddie, because we, we, the ladies, sometimes when we talk, you say, I've been, you know, you you know you know the reason you know the reason and then you say nothing but finally you guys were able to pull through and you got him you know knocking on our doors once again and i'm very excited and happy and glad that um we're we're go we're, we're coming back i'm happy i'm happy you should have seen me this morning dancing around and can't wait to you know be on ig what, dance, what song just... what song were you dancing to pardon aha what song aha, were you dancing see, to someone... Mr. Mr. Bem said, says, Ikea should marry Buju, says, sing. It will never work. <laughs> <laughs> this one is that when Marlene asked Roy where he knew Isabella from, Roy, went, Roy you went like, is a who? Bad man. Yeah, I remember that one. Is a who? Yeah. Because I like you guys so much. Uh, you were vibing on set. That one, yes, you were vibing on set. The thing is this, um, as Ikea has said, the, there was this, this unique vibe amongst all the cast. And so we right. were really being natural, honestly. It wasn't, though our actions were scripted, we had a vibe, you know, amongst us. And even since then, we've all been friends, we've all kept in touch, you know, we've all been uh, so cool. This one is that bring Isabella. Ikea. Okay, Ikea, she might be just saying. Uh, Someone's asking for... I will. Oh, am I really having a poor reception? Ayeki. Uh, Ayeki is for... Is for I think Bukura. so. Because I, I, uh, someone was also trying to talk about me and Romanus. When okay. Romanis was reading the weather forecast. <laughs> Hi, Don. Uh, Rod, I see. <laughs> well, so um, before I let you go, Pass thing is, we actually so everybody is saying, everybody is saying your, your reception is quite bad. Surprise. I don't know why. I'm actually surprised because I have a very uh, good internet. I'm the very good video. Video. <laughs> And I can see you clearly. Can you see actually, you clearly. So. I can see you clearly and hear you clearly. So maybe oh, okay. the internet is a problem, yeah. But um, <laughs> maybe probably yes. Yeah. So, okay. what I'll do is I'll just um see which other requests. Okay. Say, Roy looks like. So I'll say goodbye. Well, so thank you so much for joining us, Ikea. The thing is, we are premiering the first episode of uh, the next season tomorrow. It's going to be live here on this All channel. Right. Um, you give us your social media handles before you leave. But um, what will happen is that after giving us your social media handles. We're going to talk about the premiere tomorrow. The first episode has been shot, beautifully edited, and all of us can't wait to see. Now, the catch about this, yeah. this season's episodes is that, unlike before, when you could watch it on the traditional TV channels, before now, we are all online. Right. We want to make it available right. to persons online. So you're not going to sit home and have to wait till some Saturday evening or no. Sunday afternoon or Monday to be able to watch it. It's going to be no. available online. Going to flow. Exactly. <laughs> It will be online, and so wherever you are, anytime you want, at your convenience, you can always watch x -ray. So there are people who will send you messages and say that, um, right. and say that, uh, was it, uh, where can they get the other episodes of season three? They can't see it here, they can't see it there. Where we are going to put it, you it's can get you. it anytime you want it. Now, before you leave, I've seen uh, just some two, three messages. This one says that, what is, uh, what's your relationship with Isabella? What's my relationship with, Is with Isabella? Isabella? Yeah. In private, yeah. I mean, your personal or private relationship. Ah, uh, okay. Like, aside the, aside the screen. Yeah, off screen, yes. Oh, off screen. Do you know we are friends? <laughs> <laughs> I talk People to can't her. Imagine. I talk to her. Mm. I, I talk to her even more than I talk to Marlene. Trust yeah. me. Isabella and Ala are like this. She loves me. I love her so much. We've clicked, like, even as at now. Even today, we we're, were talking backdoor. When everybody was talking on the page, we were okay. backdoor doing our own thing. So, oh. yeah, I have that with her. I have that all with her. <laughs> but it's always been like that, even when you were, we were on air, when we were shooting. Yes, even when we were on set. Like, mm. you know when I'm, like, very mean to Adobia and mean to Isabella? And then yeah. right after the scene is shot, I, we go and sit somewhere, and we are sitting together eating watches somewhere. Or mm. vibing somewhere. Yeah, ask, ask Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer. Jennifer is more like my daughter. <laughs> so you are the one who was giving so her all cool. the funny ideas, eh? You are making I my beg. life more difficult. <laughs> Please, I, I beg. Take me out. 
<laughs> I know they inside. We we'll see you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, uh, Ikea. Hopefully Welcome. tomorrow. Welcome. Uh, what we want to do is we will see if we may not have enough time for today's conversation. So tomorrow, right. Right. the premiere is at six p.m. Once it's over, mm -hmm. we'll be we will we'll try and make you know sometime here and have some further conversation. So if you are there, you have any questions at all for the cast, or you want to say anything to any of the characters, freely ask it on this thread. By tomorrow, we will be here, and I will make sure those who are who whom you are asking the questions will be here to respond to them. So. Thanks so much for joining us, and then you will give us your social media. Thank handle. you for having me. My social media handle is Pearl PKD. Mm. Pearl PKD or Pearl Ducky. Just type Pearl Ducky, and you have me uh, mm. on Facebook, on Twitter, on. Uh, <laughs> That's, really what you are. That's really place you are. It's not like. <laughs> well, so it's on Facebook <laughs> and Instagram, right? <laughs> Bye. All right. Thank you so much for. I love uh, you guys. We love you too. We love you too. We love you so much. Hey, <laughs> can we see that again? Can we see, can you rewind? Can you see that again? <laughs> Charlie, what's up? What's up? So that's gold out, ladies and gentlemen. She's back. And I hope you can have yes, a better time. I am back. Mm. Yes, you are I glowing. You glowing. Love you are glowing. Oh, thank you. Wow. What are My lips are cracked. So Your lips are cracked. Pardon me. Your lips are mm -hmm. cracked. I would chew them. Mm -hmm. Does somebody need to chew my lips for them to be cracked? <laughs> what else? What else can make my lips crack? I thought maybe somebody was violent with your lips. Then no, 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 no. Because they've not been functioning for a very long time, so well, they haven't. The only thing I use my 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 mouth or my lips for are eating and talking. Well, what else did you want to use it for? I don't know. Don't even ask me <laughs> further questions. <laughs> Tell me about life. You're talking about life after XOXO. So you met. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Life after XOXO. Yeah. I was saying, mm -hmm. um, basically, I mean, when we're all acting excellence, I think most of us yeah. were still in school. I, okay. yeah. I was big on, yeah. So after school, I did my service and then I tried doing a couple of things on my own till, till mm -hmm. date. So mm -hmm. basically, what I've been up to. Would you say the exposure XOXO gave you has been positive or it's been a bother? Oh, I'm not going to say it's been a bother. I mean, like, others have come and said, I mean, you step out. And then it amazes me how people are able to make me up. Because, you know, most often I have a down card, like I have a short hair. And then I put on a wig and I go out and people are like, Golda. And I'm like, wow, people are very observant. Like, seriously? And then they keep bothering me. Even yesterday, even yesterday, someone sent a message on Facebook asking, when are we going to continue showing? When are we going to come back on screen? And then because I don't have an answer for them, I just don't even have to reply. Sometimes I feel bad, but I mean, hey, what else can I do? I mean, it's been positive. So I'm not saying it's, it's been a bother. The fact that we still get responses from people, we still get people asking us when we're coming back, means that we're really doing a good job. Mm. You understand? So. Yeah. And do people bother you about Josh and whether the relationship was real and whether you guys had anything going? Oh, yeah. I mean, a couple of times, I get people go like, but you too, why are you like that? Why do you do that to Josh? Why do you give him a hard time? I mean, yeah, I get that a couple of times. People actually think that what they see on screen is actually what it is in real life. And then they actually yeah. perceive that the way you are on screen is how you are in real life. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But what's the, um, okay, yeah, okay. What's, what's that one scene that you never forget in XOXO? Anytime it comes to mind, what's that one scene that you go like, wow, this was, this was it. You, you loved it. One scene that I'll never forget. Yeah. Okay, I, th I think it was in season one, and then I was at home with my uncle, and then I think Josh came over to pick me. I remember that scene. Up. I think we're going now. We had Uncle William. Pardon me. With William Addo. Yes, Uncle William. He was my uncle. Yes, yeah. yes. And then Josh came over to pick me up, and then he had to have me speak to him first. And then Uncle William was trying to do stuff on the bed. Yeah, I think that was a nice scene. But I mean, all yeah, I've loved all the time being on set. Hmm. Who was your favorite person on XOXO? I know it's me, but don't, don't my say favorite. Yes, person. 
What? <laughs> my favorite person. Yeah. For whatever you Well, you know what? I agree with what Paul actually said. That, I mean, um, I didn't get that. Can everyone of us say it? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I yeah, I can. Yeah, I'm saying that I would agree with what Pearl said, Ikea, in the mm -hmm. sense that each and every one of us played a very vital role. So if we take one person out, I mean, it's not going to make a complete and exciting XOXO. Um, I wouldn't say I had a favorite, but obviously because I was mostly shooting with my girls, that's Selom and Lamley. So I used to bond yeah. with them more and spend time with them more. I had. So I'd say maybe them, but I would call them my favorite per se. But okay, yeah, them. Mm. Are you excited oh. that is back? How excited are of you? Of course I am. <laughs> But the pressure, the guys are going to, you see, the thing with XOXO and you is this, the boys are going to rush you again, they are going to be in your face, it's not a bother how you have to always handle them and ward them off. Oh no, a it's bother, not? I think, um, no it's not a bother because I've been used to this, I well not to say I'm blowing my horn. But I've been used to this kind of lifestyle for so long, so I just know how to handle it. And I know how to go about it. So. Okay. Being on X to X, it was like it was fun. I felt like it was even a hobby because obviously I do want to I do want to take the acting and um, too serious yeah. or as a profession. So it was a hobby yeah. for me. Coming on set, was just excited because I remember even back in school, there were times that I come on set. My call time was as early as six a.m. and then I, I end up shooting the whole day. And then I get to school very late. And then the next morning, as early as 7.30, I have an IA. But, I mean, yeah. that didn't even deter or worry me at all. Because of the excitement that I was getting from X to X. Mm. So, I'm super excited. Mm. I, I, um, sure. Yeah. We have the premiere it's tomorrow. Rush, rush. And, um, it's going to be live here. And hopefully, like I've been saying, uh, after the premiere, if there is time, we'll try to have an interaction here as well. All right. Okay. Yeah. So you give us a social media handle before you leave because um, the guys have been bugging me like every single time. I'll just go through some of the comments yeah. here. This one here says that... Uh, let me just read a few comments for you. This one says that um, bring Salom on board. We'll try and see if we can get Salom. Please, where is Golda? Golda is here. She's the one speaking. Uh, this one says that... Um, let me see who is... So Mr. Frimpon says Golda and he has the love emoji there. Golda make fine. It's from Big Adam GH. Yeah, that's like usual, you know. I'm sure you hear that like every single time you go out. Don't don't worry, don't answer. Yeah. Yeah, unisex salon says Golda. Then uh, someone says Roy, the house party, what's up? It'll probably happen. My star from AJ Kev, mm -hmm. I'm sure he's referring to you, Golda. AJ Kev is showing you some love. Chamberlain Dury says Golda. Darren Yaira says Golda. Forehead gang. It's shining. What? <laughs> June oh, 7th. <laughs> Junior Seven says, uh, "See fine girl." Yeah, the storyline was great. Someone says, "Golda, you did talk like seriously." Well, that's from Darren Yaya. Well, that's you know how she speaks. Do with it, you know. Uh, Lynn for DM Miles. Buju was like Josh made a mistake. He should have gotten Golda pregnant. It'd be true. Uh, what's your relationship like? Okay, as really what your relationship with Josh was like, but offset. How do you guys relate? Is it uh, an onset relationship or you had a a unique friendship after 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 set or offset? I mean, well, after set we haven't really been in communication. I think I haven't even seen much of him after set. On set we had we had a, a unique relationship. And the thing is that I also knew him on campus before we even started shooting next to week. So so mm -hmm. our relationship was just okay. Yeah. Okay. They just what well, I that Golda, Golda, my everyday crush, Golda, I want to take you on a date. Um, should I accept? Someone wants to take you on a date. <laughs> uh, I can be your manager actually. I can get all these uh, guys. I take a commission. Yes, yes. You're my manager. That. You know, I'll do a good job. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Golda. And we'll see you thank at the premiere tomorrow. Too. I thought you Let me you drop me. my. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's um, at Kaila. 
Yes, so shall we have a hand raised one? Kaila. The line is so bad. Can you hear me? Okay. So you know what? Type it in the comment section, okay? And then I'll um okay, read it out. Okay. If it's fine, yeah. So what we will say thanks to you, Golda, and it's been a pleasure talking to you. So still look as dashing okay. as you are. All right, then. We like it that way. You make X-ray to glow, you know. You make you make us uh, <laughs> you make Thank us wow. Thank you. Mm. And often when people meet you and they're asking about all the fine girls in X-ray, X-ray and all, those are girl. <laughs> I don't know how many of you asked me here out, but that's the girl. You know, I've been calling you Steph so much that I even forget what your uh, X Y X name was. Sorry? I've been calling you Steph so much that I don't even yeah. remember. What, what's your X Y X name? Your character name? Um, Lums. 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 A lot of people Lums. used to say Lums. Lums. Yeah. Lums. 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 How have you been? Yeah. Seven been years. Good. I've been good. Yourself? I've been good. How so. many years? Seven. Whoa. Seven. It's been that long. Yeah, it's been that long. What's wow. been happening between then and now? Time, time flies. I know. Um, I know. just I know. nothing really. Yeah. Time doing its thing. Mm. But you, you went into another production. Yeah. You know that. I did. I did. Mm. And how was that? Yeah, it was it was fun. It was it was also a um, a different experience. It was a good yeah. experience. Mm. But the next episode, what was that what yeah. was that big experience for you? What was that thing that always makes you realize that look, if ever XOXO came back, I'm going to be back there again. What was that experience you had with XOXO? It was that... actually <laughs> XOXO. I probably could say was what opened the doors for me, like in terms mm -hmm. of acting and everything. So. That's always going to be my first love, and mm. say I don't know, I I I think I got I learned a lot from X Y so that helped me like dive into different parts of like the mm. acting acting mm. career. Mm. Yeah. So, and uh, what, what was that, that one? Was being... person, like, acting with? Sorry. Who was the favorite person you liked acting with? On X Y X O. That's in X Y X O. Yeah. Um, obviously, it was it was supposed to be a clip, so definitely it would have been my best friend. That's Kaila. Yeah. Or Golda. Yeah. yeah. What's your and relationship? Shalom, actually, yeah. Mm. How close are you guys, even after XXO? Well, it's been a while. Well, face-to-face -face has been a while, but we, mm. ha we kind of keep touch. in touch with each other, like via social media. You still do the little gossiping, and you know, the, the things, the girls' girl stuff. Girls have to be girls, isn't it? So, I'll tell you something about these girls. So, even uh, off set, they were so that close. Mm -hmm. And often you see them in corners, you know, having conversations. And when you're coming, they are quiet. And so, if you're not so sure, are they, are, they, are they talking about me or they are just talking about some other guy? You know, so. where, did, where, did, where did you see us? Where is it? Oh, everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Every time you guys were acting, you were in some corner somewhere. It's still, it's still, and you it's see the salon. Tell them with her tall self standing there and, you know, moderating her face. I That's know. I was kind of like the shortest, you know. It was yeah, actually yeah. really funny. And they always used to they used to bully me like, oh, you're so cute. It was so annoying, you mm. know. Because I was always like the smallest and the shortest. Because Selom was like, me standing next to Selom was like David and Goliath. You wow. Know? Yeah, so when you're standing by me, you're feeling like uh, Yukozuna and uh, Funny Face or something. Don't worry. Let me talk about your favorite scene yes. in the next episode. You know those moments when I think there was a scene when you were supposed to be gossiping. Um was it when Golda found out that uh, the brother's wife, that's uh, Greg's 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 girlfriend, was cheating. Yeah. And you girls were supposed to meet and you yeah. know you yeah. think, I love that scene. I loved that whole scene because you know you walked in with a guy a guy was trying to But my up. favorite scene mm. I think my favorite scene was when we went to um on the retreats in Adan, yeah, uh, okay, right, yeah, and there was supposed to be like a sex tape sort of that yeah. between Pablo and I. I don't know if you remember yeah. that. Yeah, I remember it was Pablo actually really that. weird. It was actually it was actually really weird shooting that scene because it was supposed to be just sound. So I was just in the car with a cameraman, and I was actually supposed to make like 
sex sounds. It was actually, it was, it's a what memorable scene. Chris, what, what it like? It's just like you, you and the you and the camera crew just recording audio in a car. And you're supposed to be making sex sounds. It what was actually like, awkward, but then very memorable like? for me. Sorry. What's a sex sound like? Really? How? Maybe just five seconds of it. How? How do how do you make sex? No matter how virgins. you make sex sounds. No matter so virgins. No, yeah, I know. Sure. I you. know. It was in the script, so I just had to read it out. So what did the script say? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh, oh. What? Really? <laughs> now I regret actually saying that was... No, but I mean, if it was your favorite... I can... <laughs> can I change it now? <laughs> but now, it looks I, like... I, it's I, your... I said it was, it was a memorable one. It what was about... a memorable mm. one. That's I what imagine. I said. I can imagine. If I have to yeah. read out sex scenes, I'm sure... I mean, sex sounds, I'm sure I'll love it. <laughs> I can imagine walking to a room and then. Ah, but it was it was awkward, as I it said. Awkward. Okay. <laughs> it was memorable because it was awkward. Mm -hmm. You just have to have like the camera and then the crew around mm -hmm. recording that. So you just yeah. you and the crew, and then you just have to make make, make sounds for them. It was and actually it awkward off. and memorable. You yeah. pulled it off. As you Sorry. Said. Oh yeah. You pulled it off. I tried. I no, tried. You did. You did. I tried you did. my oh, best. Stop. Oh, stop yeah. it! You did. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm actually seeing a comment from um, from Kofi that's Temple. It says that uh, he was supposed to have a scene with you, but it never happened. Uh, but he's got a spoiler. The thing is this: I'll just tell the viewers out there. So for XOXO, I think because we all had a vibe and there was all that. There are so many videos and pictures. Yeah. Extremely interesting videos and pictures we all have offset. <laughs> Which the day any of us decides to go off and release, I'm sure it will be interesting in this country. So many things will happen because oh. we're having fun. We're just a group of young people, you know, doing our own so thing. Right. And so, if uh, Kofi says he I has know, a I know because a lot of people have been seeing me till now. I look, at my, I look at videos back in XOX and I look at myself, I'm like, whoa, I was so tiny, you know. Because mm. a lot of our, a lot of us have like really, really outgrown like how we used to look then, yeah, you know? yeah. Anyway, so now before I make you leave us, um, okay, somebody says I should try wiping my camera. Let me try doing that if it works. Cause, uh, is it better? It's evening where I am, so not probably. quite. Not quite. Oh, okay. Maybe I've just got Not really. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, so um, I'll just make you leave us, but you'll give us your 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 social media handles before you leave. What's been, what's been the pressure like? The guys, the, the boys. Have they been worrying you? Boys. The boys. Yeah, not really. Not you don't? really. Why? You don't give them face? Not really. They fear or what? I, I'm, I'm always indoors, that's the thing. So probably why. Okay. So I'm getting too many uh, comments that my feed is not clear. Um, oh. I think can you see me clearly? No, it's fuzzy. It's fuzzy. How? Yeah, what? like like ghost mode. <laughs> okay, let me. Because uh... anyway, people are talking about my camera. I'm actually surprised, yeah. Because <laughs> between, <laughs> okay, that's fine. You let um. Okay, so Lams, I'll just take your social media handle and then uh, you. Uh... Yeah, but I even forgot to ask how you have been. You have you are the one asking how I've been and all. I, I totally oh, I've been good. forgot access. To... I've been very good. Uh, the guys have actually forced me to take the, the the screen screen thing off my protector off my off my phone. So is it better? Oh, we'll buy a new one. We'll buy a new one for you. You see, oh. <laughs> well, it's still not it's still not better. We'll buy, in fact, we'll buy a new phone for you. How about that? No, but my internet is too good. And my phone is also too good, so I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why uh, some people will be having problems. But let me just say this. So you're asking how how I'm doing. I think I've been good. Uh, for me... Yeah, how have you been yourself? Okay, so, Lance, you know what? Somebody actually wants me to try cutting the feed and yeah. restarting. So I'll just finish with you and then... Uh, for everybody watching, we are gonna, I'm going to start fine. the feed again in the next uh, maybe two minutes. Because I don't know what exactly... It's happening because um, I'm using a good phone and I've yeah. been using it, yeah. But for me, um, right after XOXO, I wasn't looking to going back on screen, yeah. 
So uh, yeah, someone okay. said yeah, and you can see. Okay, I wasn't looking to going back on screen because um, like I keep telling people, I'm not really an actor. I mean, it's something I enjoyed. So I was waiting to see something else that would excite me so much before I would consider that. Now, um, afterwards, I had this event emceeing thing I was into, and it was easier because yeah, I was, yeah, 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 yeah. Could identify the face. Charlie was it was it was there was a mega boom. So. At several events, you know, MC various no. places and all. Plus, also, I had in the time I finished school, I mean, there's work, so there's so much in our lives. And, um, like, I think it's good. Yeah, you remember, I remember that with, with, the, with the MC gig, you remember you had to MC a friend of mine? Uh, I totally yeah. forgot. Yeah, I remember, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, you know, and um, well, today's actually, even actually birthday. Funny enough. What's the, when's your birthday? No, I'm like, today's actually his birthday. The guy his you birthday. actually had to... Oh, no, no, then I showed that. I remember him. Um, I can't remember the name. Uh, at the uh, Bema Camp. Arakan. I don't oh, remember who he was. No, uh. I but I mean, I, I would... But I don't... I know, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, know I know about... I do see yeah. him on social media as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know... Congrats to that. Mm, mm. And I hope... Uh, now that next XO is back, we'll be seeing some more of you. And I can imagine that over the past seven years, you've perfected the sex sound. So if Eddie is watching, he knows what to do. Thanks so much for being here, Lam. <laughs> no idea. You know the love is so deep. I'll take your uh, social media handles. Oh, yeah. Um, Instagram is... I think it, that shows... At the moment, doesn't say, but okay, it's still um, at awo underscore diva. So awo a w o underscore diva. Okay, um, so snap do. is snap yeah, would awo diva. Facebook, I'm not really active, so I never really give that one out. Okay, what else? Yeah, and Snapchat is awo v69. Awo what? And please don't comment on that. Awo what? Awo v a a o v a a W O V I six nine. I will V V sixty nine. Wow. No, I will V as in I will V A O V I six nine. Yeah. Okay, so I will V sixty nine. Yeah. yeah, I will V six nine. So for so somebody yeah. who did the sex sound so now. well. Now using. Bye right, bye bye. Have Thanks a so good much. Day. <laughs> Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow again. The premiere. <laughs> you know. So um. I'm actually looking at ending this at Rasta. <laughs> Ew. Pata. Pata. Pop, 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 pop. Charlie, for those of you who don't What's know, this Kofi and Kofi S. Era. Like, just check out Temple Gram on uh, Instagram. Check out, check him out on. Uh, is that the same thing you use for 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 Twitter? Uh no, Twitter the Kofi. Twitter be Temple underscore GH. Okay, so Temple underscore G. But just check out for Temple. He's like. There, you know, the kind of rap that he will rap, you can't even understand. So, so blah, you know. but I'm sure you give us some Charlie Maji, Why you, 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 you want to make a star spill beans? You get master's degree, you see, you know, they understand English shorts. Relax. Make you know, come give me pressure for you. Yeah. <laughs> but that's Tempo, ladies and gentlemen. Charlie. He's Kofi, and uh, it's so interesting. I keep telling you that, uh, interestingly, most of us had things we we're doing on the side, and so the acting was just, um. You know, it was like a hobby, and probably that's how come we were able to do it as well as uh, we did it. So, Temple, seven years ago, that's Sorry. the last time we met. Uh, I remember there were several moves you were picking, the network group, you know, Charlie, you and your swag, and you know. <laughs> How's it been? What's been happening since then? Well, seven years down the line of the XFL, uh, I think, uh, well, you can see I have a beard now. <laughs> That's so one change. <laughs> and now I have a beard. No, but um, then you didn't have beard. But yeah, I I look. Oh, that time then it it it, 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 it come by me now the crop bam, but I never really kept it as part of my you know my whole look and everything. But mine was, you know, mine wasn't like, coming, and I was not keeping it. Now I want to keep it, and it's not coming. I don't. Yeah, know. I yeah, I sure say I sure say they take me to a two story pass there, but they really need. I try, my guy. I try. <laughs> Charlie, that's too much. But yeah, uh, seven seven years down the line, I think uh, 
Uh, XOXO was, was, was my first like uh, proper, proper acting gig. I had never acted in my life before. The best, okay. the best that I had done was like a commercial or an advert. Okay. And um, uh, Eddie gave me the chance and I came through and I think, uh, was it season one? Yeah, I came through okay. season one, did a couple scenes and they felt I was great, I was good. And mm -hmm. season two, they elevated me further. And uh, it's, it's been nice. People see me outside and, you know, they still ask, they still ask, when is it, when, why isn't it happening? Mm -hmm. And I think we shot our last um, uh, episode somewhere early 2014. So oh, it was, that was yeah. it, the end of season. Yeah, so mm. I think yeah, it's 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 a nice, uh, uh, you know bus ride. It was too bad that we had to stop the bus for a while, but yeah, we're back on the bus now, so we're good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But how's the how's the experience been since then? How's the pressure from people being? How what have people been saying? Oh, the pressure there actually it's 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 constant, like. I mean, you're, I mean, you're, probably you are chilling at Seraglio, you are chilling at Bloom Bar, you are honeysuckle, you are having dinner or lunch with your man there, and then all of a sudden someone pulls up on you like, Charlie, but that's where, so what's up, Charlie? I said, someday, I was in front of Busy Internet. Yeah. Uh, some guy ate Trotsky inside. He said, hey, coffee! And you know me, when you say my name, what, I, I go holler like, I actually know who you be. So I'm like, yeah, what's up? He said, Charlie, X, X, so when? I said, Charlie, me, I don't know, but I go come, you know, like, you just have to keep on making it like give the people hope even though we we didn't know what was happening or whatever but we just knew it was gonna pop off so i mean it it it, it did and we're here now so we're back mm. we're ready to go again and what's been your what, but what it's been your, great what's that favorite um um, um scene of yours what's, what's your best my, scene my, my favorite I, I have two scenes i have two, yeah. two scenes one of them is when we came to your house and you, we were coming to watch football and you said, eh, Madame is coming, so we should go away. Yeah. Oh, I did that. You remember that one? I don't remember, but I thought it was a very yes, nice person. That was just... I thought it was a very nice person. No, no, it was, it was... no, no. no. We, we were coming. We came to your house to watch Champions League football and you told us that eh, Madame, the air hostess, is coming mm. <laughs> for the night, so we should leave. It was me and somebody like that. I'll put, I'll, I'll send it to the page so you can post it so people can remember. Yeah. And you, you suck us, Dean. We don't talk. And then there was this other scene. I think uh, Josh and uh, what's the other guy's name? Josh and um, Bangor. Um, uh, Parker. Yeah, Josh and him. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Josh and Parker. Uh, see, I think season two where uh, we were at the getaway thing. And then uh, got into this fight, and 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 I, I was the one separating them. That was a very like that was a real that that felt real. Like it was a mad scene. Like the energy was crazy. Mm. And I think those are my two most memorable scenes. There are other ones, but like forefront, those mm. two are really really out there for me. Yeah. Mm. And what was your favorite person on set? Oh, my favorite person on set. Oh, who's safe? I know would you be foolish boy, so I don't go mention <laughs> uh, my fa I, I think my favorite person on set would be um a queer. A queer because I used to I used to take cues from a queer silently. She's okay. a she's a she's a serious actor, okay. serious professional, and most times I wouldn't even ask her things, I would just watch the way she takes cue and mm. the way she goes over her lines and whatnot. So it's like I really studied her silently to perfect myself as well. So my mm. favorite person would be um, Ikea. That's Pearl. That yeah. she's 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 real with it. And yeah, mm. aside that everyone else is my person, but she, I I was really like studying her just to get how the thing really goes. Because you know I was a novice, so I mean. And now so, that yeah. uh, basically definitely are coming back. I'll just ask you, um, mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's been a long time coming. No matter what, it's going to be very soon. Yeah. And, uh, we are going to be live online. So I don't know what the feeling is like, because all of us have been complaining about how Charlie, for a very long time, everybody keeps asking. And I think we must also agree that at some point, mm -hmm. you also got very busy, because you all had very private life with, lives with yeah. students. So 
we all got busy you know, along the line. Yeah. But um, now that it looks like uh, we certainly are coming back, we've been doing very digital channels. What's the feeling like? What are you? What are you? Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? Oh, honestly, it feels great because mm. honestly, it feels great. And I think uh, the hiatus has been a long one, yeah. no doubt. But aside that, all of us have done our own private things. Be mm. acting. I, I am a, I am a musician. I am, I am a rapper. I'm a DJ. I've been able to expand whatever market I was trying to expand. What no? We've all been doing our own separate things, and mm. we've all had our, our, our experiences different on the side. We've all ever things that we were doing, and these things actually grow you as a person. You understand? So, with XOXO coming back, I think we are co we're, we're coming back with a lot of maturity, mm. and we, and, and we're, we're, we will apply that maturity to the work that we're about to do. People have been waiting for us for a very, very long time. It's true. But we're back now. We're not leaving again. We're here to stay. Mm. And we're here to just continue. Good for us. All of us still look the same. We look better than before, actually. Oh, we, do? we don't look older. <laughs> we, just, we don't look older. None of us have aged. No one has aged a day, including mm. you yourself, Roy. You still well, look the same way you looked when I saw you on set. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's more like a second coming. Mm. You know, it's a second coming and we're, we're mature and we're going to do this better than we actually did, honestly. But then, you people, there are some scenes that, you know, like, you, make a cut, you, you know, we're cry. about to do this. Like, we're, I'm not going to spoil try. anything, but there were some <laughs> scenes that, that were written for me and I didn't get a chance to do them. And it, it what happened? Me. What happened? You mentioned I mean, it was in those scenes. What happened? Have you forgotten? Okay. You know, we shot some scenes in 2016, right? You remember? Yeah. Yes. 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 You remember? Never got up. Yes. Yeah. At uh, in, somewhere in and around Accra City, we shot some yeah. scenes. We had our scripts for two mm. episodes, and there were some things assigned to me that I was supposed to do in those episodes with, with Lamle and some. You know, there was a nice storyline which was going to really favor me, but then some way, somehow, it didn't happen. <laughs> Eddie, I will tax you for that. You really, really gave me hope. But Charlie, but yeah, it's all good. We're back now. So okay. yeah, it's all right. It happens. It happens. Okay. Bro, we'll take but how have you been? Happen. I've seen you've been doing your MC thing and you've been putting people been together at weddings. Charlie, you didn't chill. No, you didn't buy. You didn't take pictures. No, ma. No, ma. I've been too good. I think uh, <laughs> for me, uh, I would usually tell Eddie that I wasn't someone who missed you know, who missed the XOXO too much. I missed being on set. I missed the whole vibe. But I think I really worked yeah. with another busy thing of them scene and all that. So there wasn't actually too much free time for me to uh, want to be on set. And so it's probably just around the, the, the best yeah. time now that uh, other things are easing up mm -hmm. because of COVID and all. We, we, we are also looking at yeah. coming back. So it means I can actually uh, think yeah. about it some more and uh, put it in my plan. So it's been exciting. It hasn't been a bad thing for me at all. At all, at all, at all. It hasn't. It hasn't at all. It hasn't. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even say seven years. I would say six years because six, six years, years because yeah. our last, uh, our last uh, episode was yeah. in 2014, I think January yeah. or February. Yeah. So I would say probably six years. Yeah, we give it a thing. But then again, I mean, COVID has given us the chance to recoup and, you know, yeah. with every bad situation you find you you, you, mm. you you pull out the positives out of it and this is this has brought us together again okay. and we're, we're about to do this so i mean um it's been great and to the fans thank you for sticking around still um um yo it's crazy how you guys still remember everything and uh, mm. big Daddy. up the fans just get ready yeah. for premiere tomorrow and we'll let it be what it be Daddy. i'm sure you'll vibe thanks so much for joining us this yeah. evening <laughs> Always, bro. Oh, you got some advice for us. I did. You got some tell Buju, for us. Tell Buju to behave. It's actually going to be next. So I, I beg you. Next. I beg you. You can. I wouldn't have Buju. You can next. see I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a suit and a tie when, right can now. You went to the bank I now. I can't be rapid right now. Yeah, yeah he's a corporate guy now. So who told you I'm there? Yo, 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 yo. yo okay, I didn't say yo, bank. Yo, I mean, allow. you went to the corporate institution. <laughs> Thanks so much, Kofi. I'm sure <laughs> we'll vibe on the other side.